Hello friends, welcome back to Cool IT Help. This in this session we are going to create a new disk partition in Windows 11. So I have this new machine. So by default I have only a one partition, and I want to create 250 GB a partition, additional partition on this system. Let's do it together. Okay, first you have to go to the search, click on it. And here in the search box, you have to type computer management. If that option is not appearing to you, when you type computer, you will see that best match. And simply click on it. Okay, soon you will see this a separate window for the computer management. And here we have so many options. Come here at the storage option. If you click, you will see the disk management. Click on it and you have this all information about your disk. How many partitions are there? This time my system is very new and I have only the big partition which is C drive 474.72 GB. And uh, this is the graphical representation here. So we have this 474.72 GB NTFS partition. And I want one more partition. What I will do, I will select this and do right click and select shrink volume. Okay, within few seconds, we will see one more small window. So we will see this kind of window and this is the total size. This is the total uh, size of the current disk. And this is the place where you have to give the value. It means what is what will be the size of your new disk partition. So this time I want 250 GB partition. That means 256 zero 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 in MB so I will copy this number and I will come to this place and I will paste it here this means I'm going to create 250 GB new partition from the current partition okay simply click on the shrink this will take few more seconds to create new partitions for you just wait for that okay look at here a new partition of 250 GB is created and you can see here this is unallocated space and we want to use it as a drive so we have to do one more additional step let me show you what we need to do now you can see here the size is reduced and the C drive is now become 2 to 4.72 GB and there's a free space is also there 168 only now come here at this section unallocated space uh, do the right click and select the new simple volume click next at this place you have the option if you want to create further new partition so you can simply use some space from this 250 GB space okay then leave the rest of the thing allocated and then you can create new partition so in this now right now I'm proceeding with that complete 250 GB of his space. Okay, so the first thing assign a drive letter which is D and uh, you have the option if you don't want to assign anything select the third radio button. Okay, click next and this there's a, some default information which are sufficient. You don't need to change anything here. Only one thing you want to change which is the volume label. If you want to give the volu volume label this time you can give it here or you can do this thing later as well and click the next and now we are at the final step click finish and this will take a few more seconds and it's done congratulations now you have successfully created your new disk partition on your windows 11 this information is added on the top as well now let's look into the, this pc so this is our new drive which is just created and the size is 250 GB and which is perfectly working. Let's create a simple folder. Okay, that's created. So guys, this is the simple process to create a disk partition on your Windows machine. And further, you can create the partitions as well. If you want more partitions on your system. I hope you guys found this tutorial relevant and useful please hit the like button to appreciate and uh,
Please subscribe my channel if you want to learn more. And for now, thanks for watching. Cool IT help.